What up, YouTube? This is the Barber Mosaic. I am Maurice. I've got a very special video for you. It's about one of the hottest trimmers in the barber game right now. The Babyliss Pro Skeleton Trimmer. I have been wanting this trimmer for so long. As soon as I saw it and I heard a lot of cats that I really respect in the game talk about this trimmer and how much they liked it, I said I gotta get it, I gotta review it, I gotta use it in the shop. I was so lucky to pick it up recently and this is, a, this is gonna be a, a full length review and comparison, okay? Because I got a lot of strong views and opinions about this specific trimmer, so let's get into it. First and foremost, I'm gonna say I like this trimmer. Something that jumps out to me about the industry now is our tools being made that stand out and are innovative. A lot of people think that this is one of those tools. We're gonna to talk about that some. In terms of look and feel, it's gold. It's shiny gold and people like me from where I'm from, we love shiny gold shit. Let's just be real about it. This is a beautiful trimmer. It's gold and shiny. It's not this like rusty looking gold on the slim line, but it's gold. It's gold gold. And we love gold. So it's dope. The blade is black. Got that carbon black blade in there. You can check that out. That is beautiful. The actual T blade is gold in terms of look. Another thing that I want to talk about in terms of look is doesn't this have a T outliner look to it? It has a real T outliner look right off the bat. Uh, and that means something. We're gonna talk a little bit about that as well. So it has a very familiar look in terms of the blade. Slippery kinda at the top here where we have that, that refined metal here. There is some grippy type material. However, I, I would just, I'm just gonna take a hair tie and just make like a little you know, just something there, just so I have it there. I'm gonna do that at some point. It's a little longer than the Andis T outliners. The Slimline Pro, maybe a, maybe a little retro T cut. Wall, the new wall detailer and it are very similar in size. This is not like some, you know, oh, so huge and crazy type. It, it's not like that, it, it's good, it's a good size. One thing I absolutely love about this trimmer is the blade angle on it. You know, a lot of times, as a newer, younger barber, you always get the T outline. And if you are lazy in your placement, edging up, if you are lazy in your placement and you don't have that hand high, that elbow high, and coming down on an angle, you can go this way and you can really scar somebody up by letting this cutting blade touch someone's skin. The way this blade is set up, how it has that, I mean, almost a almost a right angle there um, in terms of the blade. This is really good for keeping that high elbow angle. Like even if you drop your elbow, the way this is set up, it has that high angle on it. So that means you're gonna be coming down and that's a really, a really big plus, especially for a trimmer like this that isn't that great unless you zero gap it. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. So it's giving me T outliner vibes in terms of initial look and feel. Now, once I turn it on, the strength and the power, very powerful. And this is kind of quiet, actually. I, a lot of people have been saying that these have been loud, but this is kind of quiet, actually. But the power, man, is there. It feels stronger or as strong as the new 
wall cordless detailer li so that's a big plus right off the bat from this trimmer i i've got to believe that whoever influenced the making of this trimmer were a group of people that like andis and people that people that like wall because one thing that i'm, I'm not feeling in terms of performance is you know you, you know that andis T outliner blade bounce that little that little that sizzle the, the the bounce of the blade that you get from the Anis T outliner that's there is a little bit here but not the same the Anis T outliner I'm talking about the bounce of the blade is is unmistakable like you know it, it it's a it's like dribbling a basketball with the T outliner and you have that a little bit here but just not as much. Okay, and then in terms of just raw power and blade sharpness and performance, you do get that. That's a wall trait. I think that's you know, very prevalent in wall trimmers. Uh, you don't get that as much with the Babyliss uh, trimmer, but it does have a little bit of it. So this trimmer to me seems like it was influenced by people that love wall trimmers and people that love Andis trimmers. And there's a few ways we can go about that. Okay, if you, abs if you just came into the game and this is one of the first trimmers you picked up, you're gonna love this trimmer. You are. You're gonna love this trimmer. If you have not found your groove, if, you're not ha if you have not tailored your technique around a specific tool yet, you're a young barber or a new barber and you get this, you're gonna love this because you're gonna get slight blade bounce and you're gonna get that power and precision and sharpness of blade, okay? That we get with a wall trimmer. Uh, the, bl the blade bounce comes from the, from the Andes line, right? But now, but if you're like me and you've already tailored your technique around a specific tool, me, the, the T outliner is my, is my the one that, the Andis T outliner is something that I know. When I was a kid, the dude used to grab that old gray trusty with the, with the burgundy switch, flip it on and scar my shit up. Gee. The blade used to bounce, I, I remembered it. When I was in barber school is what they gave me, the T outliner, I used it. So I'm very comfortable and familiar. I've tailored my technique around edging up with an Andis T outline. So when I get my hands on this and it doesn't have that same blade bounce, I kind of feel myself missing my T outline and I just pick it up, right? Or if you're one of those wall cats who just love the raw power of the wall detailer and the precision of the blade, the sharpness of the blade, like where you might bust somebody open, you know how them detailers get, because you can get clo very close to that with this zero gap, but it's not the same. It's not the same. So if you have already tailored your technique around wall trimmers, this one, you're gonna pick your detail up. This is not, this can't be a replacement for somebody who's already locked in. If you, if you an Andis cat or you a wall cat, this is gonna remind you a lot of why you love Andis trimmers over wall trimmers or wall trimmers over Andis trimmers, but it's not gonna make you replace it at your station. It's not gonna make me replace. I, like, it's not like I'm, I'm never gonna pick up my Andis T outliner again because I have this. It's not what it is. And there's been a lot of hype about this trimmer, bro. A lot of hype. From Chris Bossio to Mr. Outliner to Rum Barber to everybody. Oh, this trimmer, oh, you gotta get this trimmer. And it's dope. It's beautiful, it's dope. It's the, it's the most beautiful trimmer on the market. It's dope. But this is a case where I feel like they've drawn too much off of something that's already dope in making this. It's not like bevel, like the bevel trimmer. We've never seen anything like that. The bevel trimmer was new, it was innovative, it was different. Like this is just almost a T outliner, almost a wall detailer, but it looks better than both of those because it's gold. Like if I had to sum up this trimmer in one sentence, that's what it would be. The skeleton effect, that's an Andis thing. We cut the top off of the Andis T outliners, right? The power and the precision of the blade, that's a wall thing. That's what you get with the detailer. Uh, one of the other things that kind of bothered me about this trimmer was, I can't use this. I can't use my, my blade modifier. Here's the blade, check it out. I mean, it's, it's a dope blade, bro, it is. And that's very tight, very close to zero gap there. The, the one thing about this that kind of bothered me was, you see that screw in there? I don't think that's a screw. I don't think you can move that and take this off to then use the blade modifier and to file 
that part down the way you can with a T-outliner blade or a wall detailer blade. I love using this thing. It's, it's a really dope innovation. And I really wanted to just file that blade down a little bit, but you can't do it. You can't, it won't let you do it. Um, this won't, I don't think this comes off. And I don't think I even, when, when I realized I really couldn't take it off, I didn't want to force it or fuck with it. I just left it alone. You already took the ability to cut the top off from me with this tool by making it skeleton. You did that, okay, that's dope, I can live with that. But to box me in to where I can't, you know, have something on the guy in the station next to me that may not have Chuka's modifier, I can't file that down. To take that away from me, it's kind of whack. So if you're listening to this, uh, Babyliss, I kind of didn't enjoy that part. I was looking forward to pulling this black tab off and filing it down and getting it all together and then, uh, you know, doing my thing with it, but I couldn't do it. For the sake of supporting the barber industry and anybody that makes dope shit to, and for me to purchase it and use it in the shop, I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it without a doubt, without a doubt. It cuts sharp, really great in performance, but it's not the game changer that a lot of people that I definitely respect, I definitely respect y'all, it's not the game changer that you all said it, it was. So in comparison to the other two hottest trimmers in the game, the Cordless Wall Detailer Li and the Andis Cordless T-Outliner, it's right up there with them. It is, it's right up there with them. This is a dope trimmer. I think this is more of a preferential trimmer. Um, if you prefer to get the best of both of these as good as you can packed into one trimmer, this would be the one to go to. I understand why people that people would say this is the best trimmer on the market. I get it. I understand why you would say that because you get that wall power and precision and you also get that, that Andis uh, T-Outliner blade bounce just not to the highest degree that you would with, with one of these. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna use it. It's a dope trimmer and I, 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 I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying using it. So that's all for the Barber Mosaic. Of course, I am Maurice. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram, at Barber Mosaic. I'm Maurice, peace.